Hi everyone, this is Dr. Praveen here. So today I am going to discuss on trichobezoar. The word meaning of trico is hair and bezoar means so agglomeration of the food particle or the foreign body. Trico like trichologist like a specialist in the hair. So trico refers to hair and bezoar refers to agglomeration of the food or any other foreign particle means a structure becoming a, like a ball kind of structure agglomeration so that is called as that is the meaning of the bezoar so trichobezoar means agglomeration of the hair is called as trichobezoar so it's the first discussed or described by the boardment in the year of 1779 so this is as per the documentation but when you, we go for the literatures in ayurveda Sanni Pataja Udara and Badda Gudhara. So, in that context, the Shushuta has clearly mentioned that ingested hair means the hair in the stomach can cause the Udara Roga, like uh, Udara. So, intestinal obstructions and all. So, this has been told nearly about 2000 BC. Coming into the types Phytobazor, Trichobazor, and the lactobazar and miscellaneous things. Phytobazar means uh, the bazar which is happened secondary to the vegetables is called as phytobazar, trichobazar second to the hair and lactobazar second to the uh, milk products and the miscellaneous some other bazars. Here among all the bazars trichobazars has higher incidence that is 55% of the among the all the bazars. So 95, 90% of the trichobazars are seen in the adolescence and uh, trichotillomania, a kind of mania. So that is impulsive hair pulling is called as trichotillomania. So that is one of the cause and uh, ingestion of the hair that is trichophagia. So swallowing of the own hair is these are the two conditions the, some psychological conditions so in which the trichobezoars are commonly seen. Coming to the what are the clinical features of the trichobezoar? Malaysia, okay, weight loss because less ingestion of the food, vague abdominal pain that is because of stretching of viscera if it is in the stomach then stretching of the stomach or if it is in the intestine stretching of the intestine so that leads into vague abdominal pain anorexia halitosis vomiting cachexia early satiety and palpable mass so in the 88 percent of the trichobazars usually they land up with the palpable mass in the abdomen i had a case of uh, trichobazar who presented an adolescent who presented with the complaints of vomiting and she was kekexic and there was a lump in the epigastric extending into the left hypogastric region so early satiety because of the lump so little bit ingestion of the food they feel fullness in the stomach that is early satiety in coming to the investigations upper gastroduodenal endoscopy that is OGD or computer tomography CT scan these are the two best investigations which help us to diagnose the condition coming to the what are the associated complaints usually they are associated with the depression or OCD obsessive compulsive disorder so or else a body dysmorphic disorders so, in the most of the trichobazars are associated with the, some psychological illness. Coming to the treatment part, either by we have to remove the by endoscopic or by the surgery. If it is a small uh, trichobazar, then we can remove it by endoscopy. If it is moderate, then we can take we can go for the laparoscopic removal. If it is a larger one, then we have to take it by uh, open surgery. Friends, if you are interested to see a, a removal of the trichobazar, so link of that surgery is given in the description box. You can go through that. And coming to the 
another interesting point. Along with the trichobezoar, there is another syndrome is associated that is called Rapunzel syndrome. You might have heard about the, some mythological story. So Rapunzel was a lady who is having a long hair. Here, if this is the stomach, and uh, if this is the trichobazar and if that tail of that trichobazar if it is extending into the duodenum or else into the small bowel then we call it as rapunzel syndrome so simply speaking rapunzel syndrome is a syndrome in which the trichobazar having a long tail which is, is entered in the duodenum or the small bowel or the next part of the small bowel so this is all about the trichobazar if you like this video then kindly subscribe to the channel thank you thanks for watching my video